Hey everybody, it's Wolvash. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. All right, we were gonna travel back to McCarran and turn this quest in, um, this bounty on Motor Runner, but some of his little boogers are still running around. So we're gonna have a barbecue before we go. There we go. Now we might be able to take care of some business. Twelve gauge rounds, electron packs, and an RCW. Uh, I think our other one's pretty good. I don't know that we have to repair it anymore. All right, let's see if we can make that trip now, shall we? All right, let's go talk to Shu. Man, there's a lot of ammo to be had out of this thing. That's pretty darn good against people. Against raiders and the like. That that might be one I have to keep around. Although I'm loving all my weapons. Pumping those uh, skills up really made a difference. Although it would be impossible if I was still stuck on hardcore with every single bullet weighing me down. All right. Colonel Shu. How do you do? This doesn't seem... Yeah, I say, we went to the wrong area. We, we took a straight on path in. We need to go this way and hope he's still at his desk. Hoping he's a 24-hour workaholic. Colonel Shu? Something. Anders showed up here not too long ago. I'm told you're the one who got him out of the vault. <gasps> Can't tell you how relieved I am. Sending him on that mission was a mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're right. I forgot something. You didn't have a choice. The fiends were a growing threat. That's probably true, but I wonder if I should have taken a different strategy entirely. Although my options were certainly limited with most of our forces tied up garrisoning this place. Regardless, what you did for Anders isn't something he or any of us around here take lightly. We're all glad to have him back. Thank you. All right. Well, guys, they've accepted me as helpful, which is super duper because I did something horrible. Um, I was so worried about Anders. I kind of sort of forgot about somebody and that somebody would be like the 10 captives in the bottom of the of the vault and if they're dead that is my fault and I'm a little worried about that now so we got to get down there and see if we can't put that right we got to get them out it's a good thing I took computer whiz because um, I believe they are locked in through a computer access. All right. They are downstairs. I know that much. We're going to have to just make our way. All right, there we go. Carter's down. Oh my goodness, guys. Let's see if I can pick the lock. No, I've got to get it through this. Man, or maybe there's a guy that has a key on him. Flamer, flamer fuel. I think Carter, I don't know if Carter was dead before we got here. But uh, he's dead now. That kind of sucks. That doesn't look too good on us. All right, so I don't see a key on you. I don't see a key on you. I do see a gun on you. Dude. Feeling bad here. We gotta get them out of here. I'm glad I took the, the hacker thing. Because if we don't get this, we're stuck. Alright, four attempts. Whew. So let's start with let's start with Tijuana. I wanna I wanna one with a lot of letters we can play around with. One of eight correct, okay? 
Now we're going to do wildfire. One of eight. We're going to do pounding. The fact that we can rehack. Four of eight on pounding. Okay? Four of eight. So if pounding is in there, that is likely to mean that ING is one of them, which means it could be speeding. Um, it could be sneaking. Uh, it could be guarding. It could be standing. It's not standing, because that would be four. It could be guarding. Um, we're going to go with guarding. Nope, locked out. That's okay. We've got our perk. We've got our perk, which means we can try it until we get it right, I believe. I don't think it's just one lockout attempt. Wait, what happened? Security reset. Set terminal inquire. Set file protection owner. Enter password. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to get you guys out of here. Don't you worry. Breakers. One of eight. Um, properly. Two of eight. Brawling. One of eight. Frequent. Lockout. Okay, that's fine. I've got to get something beyond one of eight or we're never going to be able to do it. Is it just the one chance? Oh, friggin' hell. It is only one chance. Ag. The NCR took back Nelson. 75. Okay, so I have a lock pick of what? Lock pick is 53. Oh man. Win this war after all. So, do I have any aid that could help me in this whatsoever? Um, I want to set these guys free. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I screwed the pooch on this. Um, let's see. Sneak. I have a lockpick one, I'm sure. I have two, which would get me to 73, which would still not be enough. Um, I don't think I have anything that would help me with this. Melee weapons and speech. Can't even try it. Oh, this sucks. Hey, yeah, you. Come give us a hand. Um, what are you doing here? We were part of a caravan heading into New Vegas from down south. They're holding us hostage, trying to get some ransom. Anyone willing to pay for us died in the attack. Once the fiends figure that out, we're as good as dead. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, partner. I think the fiend with the key is back in one of the bedrooms. <gasps> here we go. Someone called him Daniel, if that helps. All right, we're good. Daniel. Someone finally put down that sick motor on of Daniel, 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 in the bedrooms. Okay, this one's dead, overdosed in the bed. Flamer tank, flamer, flamer. Nope, no keys. I'm gonna keep this flamer up and running though. All right. Okay, you killed somebody, but I don't know where you are. That could be a little problematic from where I'm standing.
I need to know if you kill someone named Daniel. Daniel, bottle cap. And prisoner key. Sweet Caroline. All right, let's go get those prisoners. I can't believe I forgot about them. Totally left them hanging, man. Take down this password. It'll get you into the overseer's area upstairs, I think. Thanks for the help. We'll find our own way out. All right. Dennis? Thanks, Dennis? For, thanks for the help. Okay. We're good. Um, I love bananas. <laughs> the password for the overseer's room? I went in there, I think. Maybe I didn't. Whatever. I love bananas, huh? Whew. Okay, this is a shortcut out the door. Is the overseer's area out here? South Vegas, living quarters. I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty sure I made it into there. I probably picked the lock rather than have the password. But we saved those guys and I feel so much better now. I could not believe I left them behind. That was pretty awful. All right, we turned that in. Um, so, that being said, we wanna start making our way around to places like this. So let's start with the gun runners. Um, we'll need to travel to Camp McCarran and we'll need to mark this on our map. Um, why do we have so many different things on here? Is that because of the quest we have? Oh yeah, we're still figuring that out. That's okay. Um, let's go ahead and head up there. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? It's one thing to say, let's head up there. It's another thing to be able to. So we'll take a peek around. We might not be making it in there. It might be completely walled off for us. And I'm not sure what this little camp is. NRC sharecropper farm. Okay. This is what they're trying to grow with. This is what our scientist is working on. Which we'll get to that when we can. Do we want to get into the South Vegas Ruins West Entrance? South Vegas Ruins East Entrance? Nope, we're just going to keep going forward. That might be literally the dead center of the city that we can't get into. Looks like we might still have access to things around here. Is that a door? Greenhouse, door to greenhouse. Pinto beans. Hey, beans and corn, remember? That's all they got. Which means we would be big fat jerks to steal it. They're already struggling with a bean and corn diet, which, again, the colorectal implosion syndrome, that's, that may not be a real thing, but it's probably pretty darn close if all you eat is beans and corn. All right, let's hope we don't get blown up by anything. It looks like that might be the pawn shop right in front of us. Gunrunners, yep, that's it. We have made it. And this is for doing sneaky work for their supply clerk on the side, I think, right? Dismiss all companions. No. Why would I do that? Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I see a sniper rifle there. What is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. Uh, that's some impressive weaponry. All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. 
How do you get in here? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. All right, you got revolvers, pistols, pistols, anti-material rifle. <gasps> that sounds so good and way more money than we have. And all of your stuff is like super high quality. Silence pistol, silence submachine gun, straight up sniper rifle. Again, I don't know that I want to spend all our money here. Um, I do maybe want to sell you some crap. I don't know. Anything I can get rid of, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm going to actually use a chainsaw, though it sounds kind of fun if I'm being truthful. Um, we'll get rid of this Magnum Revolver. Uh, Liberator Machete Gladius. 12 and 56, 17 and 61. Uh, the Liberator is actually not the one I want. Sell it. Machete Gladius, to be honest, not the one I want. Sell it. That's a thousand more caps right there. Um, plasma rifle. I think everything else is good there. Uh, anything here that needs to go? Pre-war money. Take it. Um, I need to keep that stuff. I think everything else here looks pretty good. No, don't cancel the transaction. Just because I haven't finished yet doesn't mean I'm done. Uh, melee weapons plus 10. Eh, we'll hold on to it in case something crazy shows up that we think might be fun. I think everything else is kind of okay with me to hold on to. So, 9,000. I'm still not buying that, that sniper rifle, though. Okay, that's to keep us from getting in and causing, causing hell in there, right? I can break down weapons. Or ammo, I should say. Can I walk in? You look like an NCR trooper. What am I supposed to be doing at Gunrunners? Um, let's see. I need to increase the number of weapons and crates of ammunition from previous. Things might heat up with Caesar's Legion. Okay. That could be a thing. Stop. Motor runner bounty, we got him. Okay, uh... How do I... I can't do anything, right? I can't get in there with you? That's what it seems to be. Looks like this is all locked up. So, what if I don't want to go to Gunrunners now? What if I want to, for argument's sake, go to the Caravan Company? I'm going to go there. We're going to see what happens. Alright. Because I don't know what, what you have to offer besides selling me guns, which is nice and all, but I've I found quite a few on my own, to be fair. What are you? Mercenary. Okay. Um, is it behind that wall? It's possible. Could be through here. There's more caravan stuff. You look like a mercenary, not a trader, though. Nope, you're a merchant. Hey there. Need anything? Very likely. Let's see. All right. Uh, no on the miscellaneous. I actually don't have anything I need. Sorry to waste your time with friendly conversation. Okay, so this is quite the fortification we've got here. But I guess if you're a giant trade uh, conglomeration, it might make sense in this area to do that. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Alright, you're right. 
What's up? Nothing. Thank you. <laughs> she was quite the conversationalist. Who are you? You're just a guard. Ringo! Hey there. Here's the rest of the payment I promised you back in good spirits. Oh, Ringo, hey! Who's in charge here? Alice McLafferty runs the Crimson Caravan. You can find her over in the main office. Uh, what are the rules here so I don't, like, get myself thrown out? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pot. You built... Oh, you're talking about That's a game. No, no, so. no, 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 I don't have time for a game. I'm playing a game. So what's next for you? I'm getting ready to run a caravan up towards Utah. There's a town called New Canaan, which is supposed to be pretty prosperous. The Crimson Caravan doesn't have any branches out that way. So it'll be up to me to get things started. All right. Well, good luck for you. I'll see you around. Ringo, Ringo, blast from the past. Blake, who are you? If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. All right, let's put that to the test. Uh, McCarran needs a regular shipment of Brahmin meat and spices for the mess hall. Can you help? Won't be a problem. We have plenty of spice traders working with us back home, and we could get meat from the local Brahmin ranchers. The bigger issue is payment. To supply the camp with meat will cost some serious caps. Um, let's see. Yeah, give him a deal on the price, and you'll have the upper hand in future better negotiations. Well, the Fargo traders have been trying to edge us out on the new armor contract for the troops. This could swing things in our favor. I'm telling you. All right, let McCarran know they should expect the first shipment in a week or so. Oh, fantastic. Uh, can you answer some questions for me? Maybe. What do you want to know? Um, how? Where do you get your merchandise? Trade routes, my friend. Trade routes. Just about every major town in the wasteland has a Crimson Caravan branch in it. Uh, do you ever, do caravans ever have trouble from bandits? Out here, we usually split our caravans into smaller bands. That way, we don't lose everything if they get hit. It's not very efficient, though. But hopefully, we'll be able to start running larger caravans once things get civilized. Okay. Where are you from? A little place in the NCR called Oak Creek. Used to be a farming town until it got taken over by ranchers. I didn't want to herd Brahmin for a living, so I signed on with the Crimson Caravan and headed east. Not much to tell, really. All right. Well, let's talk about something else. Need anything else? Uh, what do you have for sale? Can do. All right. Let's see. We've got... Ooh, extended mags. Here's what we got. Mods. That's nice. Ammo box. Ashtray, bobby pin, coffee pot, cup, dinner plate. Syringe, force of pot plates. Hunting rifle scope. <sighs> that sounds pretty nice. I might take that off your hands. I'm going to say yes for the moment. Um, plasma rifle mag accelerator. Increases speed. You guys have got some interesting stuff. Stress in the modern refugee. A primer. I'll take that. Um, surgical tubing. Tiny, tiny babies. All you need to know about PDAT. Yes, I'll take that. Um... I think we have a deal here, my friend. We have a deal. Nice doing business with you. We got the uh, psychological treatment and we got the pediatric treatment. Sweet. See ya. Appreciate your time. Thank you for your help. Um, should we go and turn that in? I think we should. Because we've established a home, a home up here. So let's go ahead. We need to... Let's get our quest back on track. Uh, bring those textbooks back, which is in Bitter Springs. Bitter Springs, here we come. All right. I think we're going to help you with some problems here, Dr. Man. We gotta find the medical tent though. The music sounds a little sketchy around here. Are you farther up the hill? I think you're farther up the hill. Yep, there we go, there we go. My green haired doctor pal.
Those medical supplies have already been a phenomenal help. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, we found those books you wanted. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. You're bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Don't sweat it. Glad to help. Well, still, thanks again. All right, we're karma machines. Okay, so uh, can I nap for a second? Nope. Okay, well, I tried. Uh, I can nap down here. I'm sure somebody will let me take a nap, considering all I have done for this place. Right? Right? Even if it's a crappy bed. I'll even sleep on. No, there's mattresses over here. Screw that. I'm not that much of a saint. I'll still take a mattress over a pile of straw. Come on. Um, let's go ahead and let's go 11 hours here. I want to see I want to get back to McCarran and I want to get into the tower. All right. It's a heck of a walk, but we're going early on in the night, not late into the night. I want to see if we can figure out what that quest is speaking of. Speaking of, let's put it on our put it on our map here so we can find it. Uh, hello? Hi, are you there? Whoa. Oh, right. You can't respond. Listen, I'm using your robot as a relay to get this message to you. I've picked up some unusual chatter regarding your robot. It seems that it has some information that we could use. Oh, wait, where are my manners? This is Lorenzo, a knight with the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd be very interested in examining your tech. Could you bring your robot to one of our patrols so they can examine it? I'll have the robot mark the location on your map. All right, looks like we can do more on the Edie quest. That sounds like a fun next step. And we're going to meet some living Brotherhood of Steel Knights. Uh, we found those two corpses in uh, the Robco building. But that was all we've seen of them so far. So we'll get some flesh and blood guys up in here. All right. And we want the stairs. Unless, can we just go straight out? I haven't even tried to go out these. We might be able to go out this way. Yeah. Doing it the hard friggin' way the whole time. Okay. So, it's nighttime. We're looking for a rendezvous at the tower. This has got to be it. If it's not at this time, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to check this, this first because I didn't do it before. All right, four attempts. Um, boots, one of five. Okay. Uh, let's go with clans. One of five. Um, if it's one of five, it's not an S. So boots and clans both have what in common? The S. That's the only thing they have in common. <laughs> These are not making sense to me anymore. Because now being, brunt, blood, and bored. <sighs> okay. Boots and clans both have one thing in common, but it doesn't have to both. It No, it does, because they have to be in the same space. Right? But I guess they don't. I guess one could be... Boots could have the B, and clans could have the N. Which could make it being... But being has only one of five. 
which means it could be Brunt. Nope, locked out. God dog it. <laughs> this is so much easier when you do it writing stuff down than trying to do it in your head quickly. Okay. Let's. St we always start from the beginning because there's there's no real science to this. Faces. One of five correct. Okay, it could be anything. Um, we'll do sadly. Two of five correct, which means probably the A is in the right place. Um, so, but basically everything starts with an A. Perfect. Um, could be pages. I'm going to say it won't be pages. Faces had one and sadly had one. But they're probably both the A. Tandy. Okay. It was just a random guess. Control tower log. Camp McCarran tower log. Soldiers on duty. Shulman and Howell. Okay. Evening shift, 1230 to 1800. Okay. All right. So. Are we looking for a break? So from noon to six. Let's see, 105 enter. So that's in the afternoon. 123 exit. Wait a second. Is that the only ones that were out of out of place? So, 619 625, that would be Shulman entering. 1205 and 1213 would be Howell entering on the evening. 1211 and 1216 would be Shulman exiting a little bit early, but that's okay. Okay. 102 enter, 115 exit. Their shifts are a little bit wonky there. Okay. But that doesn't really help me here. It's 12.23 a.m. Um, okay. So I guess we lost some time in our walking. That would make sense. I'm just going to wait two hours and then we'll try again. Nothing. Okay. Let's wait two hours. We'll try again. Or maybe we need to wait until Five thirty. Maybe we need to wait till somebody comes on duty and talk to them. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. Dog on it. But they should be in, in the tower. What? What is happening here? Where are these soldiers at? We're just going to keep waiting and popping in until somebody's on their shift. What? Why are these people not working their shift? Dude. 
Dude, dude, dude. What is happening here? Why are these people not working their shift? They've given me the names and everything. So, um, I guess we're going to not worry about them right now then. We'll try something else. Uh, let's go back to world map, please, and let's go back to the caravan. And we will wrap it up inside here where it's safe. Because I don't want to be standing out here. Alright, so, uh, I am not sure what's going on with that time frame there. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, but, uh, we got some people to talk to here, maybe get some more things moving along. And, uh, what is in my brain that I want to get out before we leave here? We have got to... Oh, Edie! Edie, Edie, Edie. That might actually be something to do before we, uh, kick into this next time. Because that's back down at the Repcon headquarters. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That might be our next step. Yep, I want to know what's going on with Edie. Maybe we can upgrade her and she'll be even more cool, but... Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and come back next time uh, where we'll talk about Edie and figure out what's going on with those people not working their shift at the tower because they're really starting to get on my nerves. Anyway, take care. Bye.